For 400 years, Earth has been a barren wasteland. The few humans that survive scrape together an existence in the cruel city of Pocatel, or go it alone in the wilderness beyond, filled with wandering spirits and worms. Those humans who attempt to go it alone don't last long. Pocatel has a rigid caste system, and at the bottom of this order are the Cascabel, descendants of people who worked for generations in the San Joaquin Valley. The city doesn't take kindly to the Cascabel, such as 13-year-old pickpocket Leandro and his sister Gabby. When Gabby is caught stealing precious fruit from the Pocatellan elite, Leandro takes the fall. But his exile proves more than he could ever have imagined. Instead of simple banishment, Leandro's consciousness is placed inside an ancient drone and left to fend on its own. In his new metal body, modeled after a small bird, Leandro is an alebrije, so named after fantastic and colorful animals of Mexican folkloric art. But beyond the walls of Pocatel lie other alebrijes, like Leandro, who seek for a better world. Out there too lie mutant monsters, wasteland pirates, a hidden oasis, and the truth. I'm talking about Alabrijes by Donna Barba Iguera, released in October 2023. It's a companion book to The Last Quentista, which won the Newberry and Pura Belpre Awards in 2022. Alabrijes stands on its own, but having read The Last Quintista will give you a better understanding of the sanctuary shared by Leandro and the other Alabrijes. You'll remember from The Last Quintista that three U.S. interplanetary ships attempted to flee the Earth 400 years earlier when it was threatened by impact from a comet. Petra Pena, main protagonist of The Last Quintista, was on one such ship with her family, and readers may recall that among those ships, one of them didn't make it off Earth. Now, 400 years later, Leandro and his friends have found their sanctuary in what's left of that ship. Most of Alabrijes functions as a fully standalone adventure sure to appeal to readers who enjoy tales of survival combined with aspects of magic. But the epilogue of Alabrijes shifts in its perspective to that of Petra Pena, and readers will need to have read The Last Quintista to fully understand the epilogue in Alabrijes. I recommend both books to young readers as a fantastic and compelling read.